This is Shane with That's It Guys. I'm doing a new video series on budget-friendly headphones, and the selection I have here today are headphones that are under $100, which is my personal budget for headphones. Today's selection includes the Logitech UE 4000s, which are currently selling for under $40, the UE 6000s, which are selling for around $80 right now, and the Grotto iGrado headphones, which are retail for $50. I'm not a huge fan of using headphones. I generally find them uncomfortable to wear for more than a half an hour, and I don't like how they direct the sound into my ears. I like listening to music with the speakers turned up so I can actually feel the music, and because of that I'm generally limited to my car. However, I had a positive experience testing out a pair of headphones I was purchasing for someone after ripping their entire music in um, Alec and MP3, high bitrate MP3s for uh, iPod Classic. And after researching headphones that would meet his needs and budget, I found a pair of headphones from Grado a niche headphone company that was very popular in the audiophile community. Um, he wanted a pair of headphones that would basically be for him listening to an enormous collection of music, about 60 to 70 gigs worth, um, and that seemed to lean towards classic rock, blues, and jazz. I ended up buying the iGrados on Amazon for just under $50 and tested them out. The iGrados featured the same audio drivers as the SR60Is, but are a behind-the-ear design for portable use. To my surprise, they were actually comfortable with my glasses and had great sound for his collection. I had to test it out on my own music, so I played some Foo Fighters and Rush, and the audio quality is very refreshing. I could pick up the sounds of the background instruments and nuances that I hadn't heard with the Polk speakers on my car. I took a recommendation online for the headphones and put the iPod on jazz mode. Um, this tones down the bass slightly and generally made the music sound better. I ended up picking up a pair of my own, and I've been using them since. Recently, I picked up a couple of Logitech Ultimate Ears headphones that are now discontinued by Logitech. The headphones have fallen to a cost that made me very interested in giving them a shot. Other Logitech UE in-ear monitors have been on the Audiophile website, headfi.org's gift guides, but uh, since I don't like in-ear headphones and I'm cheap, I've never really given them any kind of serious thought. But when I saw Logitech had the Ultimate Ears 6000 headphones and the price was cut by 60%, I ordered them and gave them a shot. When I got the UE 6000s in, I listened to a couple of albums and ended up watching a full-length movie in one sitting. Um, I hadn't planned on wearing them for four hours, but I did, and honestly, they're the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn, um, and I'm very picky about having anything on me. The UE 6000s are over-ear, circumoral headphones. They retail for $199 and are currently being discounted to around $80. The 6000s have a cushioned leather-like material on the top of the headband and have exceptionally comfortable ear pads that can be worn for several hours without sweat or heat being a major issue. They fold up for storage and have a good-sized travel bag. The headphones have a detachable blue audio cable with a built-in microphone as well as three buttons for volume control on Apple devices and for Android devices you're limited to start and stop functions with the center button. Also included with the headphones is a solidly built headphone splitter. The 6000s have a wide soundstage, similar to speakers at a few feet away from you. They have good highs, good mids, and a solid low end. With noise cancellation turned on, the bass is boosted and sounds like you have a subwoofer in the room. It's a very interesting sound production. When I was testing my surround sound system, one of the films that is highly recommended was The Dark Knight, in particular the driving scene where the Joker is shooting at Harvey Dent in the police transport. Aside from not feeling the vibrations of the explosions, the bass response in the UE 6000s was just as strong. Some said the noise cancellation mode comes at a detriment to the audio quality, but I think it adds a lot more for bass-oriented music. Certainly not a mode for classical music listening. The UE 4000s are on-ear, supra-oral, closed-back headphones. They retail for $99 and have been discounted to around $30. I've actually seen the purple colors going for about $22, so if you're looking at that color that might be an option. The 4000s also have the leather-like cushion on the top of the headband, and cushion ear pads made of the same material as the 6000s. The headphones have the same detachable audio cable with the microphone and buttons, as well as the headphone splitter. The 4000s, however, do not fold up for storage, so the bag included is different. They have a narrow sound stage, sound directly to the ears, have good highs, good mids, and a very punchy low end. They block out a decent amount of sound, but nowhere near to the extent of the 6000s. I wanted to go over a couple of cons for these two headphones. Neither of the Ultimate Ear headphones have replaceable ear pads, and they're both discontinued, so eventually they're going to sell out um, should you want a replacement pair down the line. 
and I'm not really sure how much support you're going to get from Logitech, being as how they're discontinued. The UE6000s have a minor issue with the active noise cancellation switch. I thought my headphones were malfunctioning the first time, but it turns out that the noise cancellation switch wasn't on, but was slightly jarred, which did not allow audio to play. Um, but the light was not on for the noise cancellation at the same time. The UE4000s put more pressure on your ears, being an on-ear design, and this will be more apparent if you wear glasses. It's not enough to hinder the usage, but you're going to be basically limited to about two hours before they start to, you know, get uncomfortable and you need to adjust them. The iGrados are on-ear, open-back headphones. They are unique for Grado as they are currently their only pair, not hand-produced in the New York factory. They outsourced the production on the iGrados to China to keep the cost down, and according to some teardowns, they actually feature the same drivers as the popular SR60Is. The earpads are comfortable, and the behind-the-ear design works well. They have a narrow soundstage, more open than the UE4000s, solid highs, good mids, a decent low end, and replaceable earpads. The biggest issue with the iGrados is that they leak sound. Everyone will hear what you're listening to past the 40% volume mark. The three pairs that I've dealt with, um, the cable quality isn't the best. They tend to coil up. Um, there's no adjustments on the headphones because they're in a fixed position. And the earpads tend to get dirty and can capture hair. These headphones were my go-to pair until I got my UE6000s. So the audio quality is definitely there. It's just there are some negatives. So there you have it. These are three excellent sub $100 headphones with different purposes. The UE6000s are my pick for the best budget headphones this week. The 4000s are a great deal at $30, and the iGrados are a good choice for listening to jazz and classic rock on the go. If you have any other headphone recommendations, leave a comment below or head over to our forums. The written review as well as all the products are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.